Uh, this video discusses a technique that uh, advanced developers might find useful. So um, you can see here that we have a simple grid and I've got two action buttons in the toolbar here. A hyperlink that displays hello from hyperlink and then a button that just says uh, sample message. And in this case I'm invoking the buttons by actually clicking them on clicking on them myself. But in some cases you might want to use JavaScript to actually invoke the button's action as opposed to relying on the user to, uh, to click on it. So over here you can see I've got um, a button and when I click this button it's going to programmatically invoke the action on this button. In other words it's going to uh, click this button as if the user had pressed it. So you can see there when I go there and I say click um, you can see there's the message, the same message that came up when I clicked that over there. So first what I'd like to point out is um, is what's going on inside the uh, uh, browser's DOM uh, when this um, component is running. So let's go now, uh, here's, here's the component and I'm going to switch to the uh, DOM tab here in Firefox, uh, Firebug actually, and you can see there's the actual grid object, grid1 underbar grid object, and then because we have two action buttons, there are two other um, JavaScript objects in the DOM that are also that that start with the same name as the grid alias. So the, in this case, the grid alias is grid one. So he has grid one underbar buttons, and then B one, and then B X. So those are the two buttons, and those names B one and B X are coming from um, the names that the user assigned. So when they created those action buttons, so let's go there and you can see here when we look at these uh, action buttons, the first one is button B1 and there is button BX and those names are assigned. You can see here when you go and you create, um, when you create a new action button, you give the action button a, uh, a name. So there's the BX over there and there's the B1. So the naming convention would be the grid component alias underbar buttons and then underbar b1 or underbar bx. So now let's go take a look at um, this button over here which is the button that programmatically invoked uh, the click event on the hyperlink on the hyperlink button and you can see here uh, we've got grid1 uh, underbar buttons underbar bx so that's the button object and then we're just calling its on click event. So to make this more portable what I would do is I would go and replace this, the grid alias, with uh, grid.component name. So let's save that now, save that, go back to working preview and click the button and you can see it works. So what we've done here is programmatically uh, invoked the click action on this action button over here. I hope that you found that useful. Thanks very much.